we are launching the Knife 2024 edition. Knife, as everybody knows, is New York International Film Festival. Hello everybody, this is Nita Basin and uh, I'm going to meet some uh, board members of upcoming the New York Film Festival and uh, going to meet some of the uh, filmmakers as well and the finale is going to be Shavana Asmi and Meera Naya. So let's find out more about this upcoming film festival. Indo-American Arts Council holds film festival, lit festival, dance festival, and a music festival every year. Now, gathered here tonight, uh, we are launching the Knife 2024 edition. Knife, as everybody knows, is New York International Film Festival, where we premiere and screen the top movies out of regional cinema out of India and top art movies out of India. So this year we have about 30 movies being screened. Uh, we have for the closing night Meera Nair and Shabana will be joining us and followed by screening of Shabana's movie Fire. For the closing night Hollywood uh, director Tarshan Singh will be here. From India, but of India, elements of India, we've done um, photo exhibitions, music festivals, dance festivals, literature, and we give equal opportunity to emerging artists. So it's not just, oh, bring a marquee performer and let's have them, you know, come over and let's, let's have uh, that prestigious name there. We, all of our events, whether it's film, uh, literature, dance, everything is a submission-based model. We curate and we review all of these submissions and we have a spectacular lineup which brings a great experience to all of the New Yorkers because where else will you find 50 different Indian films in 14 different languages. Uh, this year we also have a Sinhalese movie, uh, Prasanna who is a big filmmaker in Sri Lanka also joining us. We have a film in Arabic, the Yellow Bus, uh, lots of programming. Sudeep Kanwal is here. Talk to him. He's a local filmmaker. Um, his film Maybe also. Maybe should be here. Come on. <laughs> uh, Nitin Madan is here. Nitin. Yes. Woo! Woo! What am I here for? <laughs> uh, you're here to represent our film festival. Oh yes, yes, yes. <laughs> uh, we also had Melissa. Melissa, are you here? Okay. Anur. Yeah, come, come, come. It's okay. We, you, have, you are our representative for Anu. So she represents her film, her friends made Anu, a short film. Sudeep has privacy. Nitin, you know. Postcard from Tahiti. Postcard from Tahiti. Um, so they're all here. Come over, watch their movies. They've all made with a lot of love. Uh, they need their audience now yes, to it's, watch. It's my first feature. It's playing on Saturday, June 1st, 6 o'clock. Privacy. So support your local filmmaker. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, I have a short film that's playing at 10:30 a.m. on June 2nd. Hi, I'm Sudeep Kanwal. I'm a local filmmaker here in New York, and uh, I have a feature film playing at New York Indian Film Festival on June 1st at 6 o'clock. It's called Privacy, starring Ratri Deshpande. So the film is about a CCTV operator, how she watches crime and uh, how she starts to investigate things on her own. And uh, she goes on a dark path. So the film just follows her journey. And uh, I've been trying to make this film for a while. And I chose India to make my first feature even though I live here. And for, the for it's, it's almost like a homecoming for me because I met the producer here about seven years ago. 
and eventually he produced this film for me. So, in a way, New York Indian Film Festival played a huge role in making this dream happen. Hi, I'm Poonam Kubani. I'm here at uh, the kickoff party for New York Indian Film Festival. I am on the board of uh, IAC and New York Indian Film Festival. I'm really excited to be here. It's a great moment um, and uh, I'm looking forward to all the great movies that we are going to see made by such talented uh, producers and directors that are coming to do their show their movie at the New York Indian Film Festival. I really hope all of you can come and enjoy these movies. They have great themes. Personally, my favorite is Jesse and Mrs. Uh, they are both amazing movies. Um, I would, I'm really rooting for these movies. Uh, just come and watch. Um, I'm sure you will love it. The themes that really catch me are the changing scenario of how India is changing, what is changing in India, and also movies that focus on, on women and how uh, women have to deal with uh, so many multicultural issues when they get married into a family or they move away from their country and then they have to deal with all these issues. For example, I can tell you my own example. When I came to uh, America from India, there was a, a big culture change for me. Uh, I had to deal with uh, a different way of speaking, a different way of thought process, a different way of um, people, how they would look at you. And I had to really um, think about how am I going to handle myself in a new life in America. And I'm sure this happens to not just me, but to many people, to many women who make changes, whether they are leaving India to go to a different country, whether it's America or London or anywhere else. Change happens and it's all about how a, a woman is going to deal with this change and for me those themes really drive home um, and usually when you think about marriages it's the women that are making the effort of changing I've not heard of many men going to India and live I've always heard of women coming out of India or going somewhere else into a different family and adjusting so I feel like the adjustment is always required on a woman's part which we women do very well but it's not it, it doesn't have its it has its problems, it has its emotions, it has feelings. Like, we go through a lot to make those changes, each one of us, and we all have our own journey. So to me, those themes really close, uh, are close to my heart.